Howdy, folks. Live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around us at a big top. I see there high above the ground. Belly hoo. Belly hoo. Oh, belly hoo. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. Stay, dine, and relax year-round on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More info at bayfieldin.com. Tenshow Radio is also funded by a grant from the Green Bay Packers Foundation. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. Find out how to get in touch with your inner wild at travelbayfieldcounty.com. And here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, and singer-songwriter, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Lake Superior Big Top, Chautauqua. Tonight, we welcome two acts from two different patches of the musical spectrum, Charlie Parr for the first half and Cloud Cult for the second. At intermission, I'll share a story about how my wife lets me talk myself out of things. Folks, the show you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that. The grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty suitable for a circus, but in this case home to a history of live performance centered on the stage. The Big Top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is, high atop a hill overlooking beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all natural waterbound wonders the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour and want to see it and experience it firsthand, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because, well, it is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up. Tonight's first guest is a man of sensitivity and reflection who can also stomp and holler. He performs while seated on the stage, but brings the audience to its feet with the power and soul he invests in each performance. The songs you're about to hear are from a show recorded a little while back, so I know ahead of time to tell you to listen for the brief but important aside our guest offers during Between Song Patter when he says, Thank you to all the amazing people that work here and help out with everything and make us feel at home and comfortable. That's not patter. That's from the heart and from someone who has seen time and time again how hard the staff and crew and volunteers up here at the Big Top work to keep the tent pitched, figuratively and literally. I second that emotion. Folks, a man with a heart to match the music, please welcome Charlie Parr. All right. Holy man, you know I'd run 
you clean out of town been dead ever since ever since my poor mother been dead rocks is my pillow cold ground is my bed everything all right baby I'm gonna make everything all right if I don't see you tomorrow mama I will see you tomorrow night
right. Thank you for coming over. It's really nice to be at the Big Top this year. I'm grateful for being here. I do want to say thank you to all the amazing people that work here and help out with everything and make us feel at home and comfortable. That man down there is Michael Beckman, everybody on the washing machine. And this is Liz Draper on the electric bass. And Brother Dave Hunderizer on the mouth organ. I'm very grateful for these guys coming along. <laughs> Lift it up off the floor. 
Bound to bone. Ah, they are bound to bone. Well, well, they are two local boys and they're bound to bone. 
You see all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine. They ain't no better, Lord, they ain't no better than all these bombs coming in here to buy the cheap wine. I'm leaning against the counter on a gloomy day. Snow falling, clear the sidewalks and the entryway for all the old folks. And the bombs and the hustlers and the rude kids. Do you see all these old ladies coming in here to buy cheap wine? Well, they ain't no better, Lord. Well, they ain't no better than these poor bombs coming in here to buy the cheap wine. And I know I ain't got it so bad. I can go home at night. Sometimes. I quit drinking when I wanted there ain't nobody here to bother me. Hell, ain't no one here to bother me. I'll keep the store open past curfew. Some nights I don't have to go home. You see all. These poor bombs coming in here to buy the cheap wine. do any harm but I framed that kid and he wasn't so bright you know he wasn't so bright he was just drunk all the time anyway they killed him not me I've got a business here to run I've got property here he had nothing Do you see all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap one? They ain't no better, Lord, they ain't no better than these poor bombs coming in here to buy the cheap one. But I'm better than all this and that crazy dare that you can go to hell. I'm better than this. I I'll open the store an hour before daybreak. Put all the labels facing out. I'm so tired of the labels. But I want to say it, it's cheap wine. You see all Well, oh, they ain't no better, oh, they ain't no better than these poor bombs coming in here to bad I'm leaning against the counter on a gloomy day. Snowfall, clear the sidewalks and the entryway.
from the big blue tent, high above the big blue lake, you are listening to Tent Show Radio. Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Welcome to intermission, folks. In my marriage, there is a rule. If one spouse is out and about and spots an object of desire, commercial, not carnal, the price of which meets or exceeds a certain amount, the coveting spouse is obligated to call or return home to discuss the matter with the other spouse for joint approval before dropping the dollars. So it was that a month ago I found myself trying to convince my wife I needed a very special crossbow. I made my pitch in the kitchen. I promised to take really good care of the crossbow, to use it as a means of provision, and, and, and well, that was pretty much all I could come up with. She regarded me with an expression I can only describe as terminal reservation. I felt lonely. Then, rather than saying no, she began asking sensible questions. Nothing is more deadly in these circumstances than sensible questions. I parried weakly with the old foot-shuffle mumble-mouth. Then I panicked and launched a Hail Mary response, revealing that one of my friends owned that exact model of crossbow, and we were thinking it would be good if I got the same one so we could share arrows should we ever wind up in the same bunker when it all goes down. There followed a silence that absorbed all the energy of the earth. I recognized my fatal overreach for what it was and placed the crossbow on mental layaway. And now this week I found out I can't buy the local Catholic church. The church is in my hometown. I discovered it was for sale when I drove up north to go deer hunting with my brothers. The church was suppressed in 2003. That's the term the bishop used during the final ceremony. You could also say closed, although a loyal group of folks have kept it available for funerals and other gatherings. That loyal group, and I assume other resources, have dwindled. I would love to swoop in and scoop it up, and I would if I could. It's one of those places that helped me love that place. But at the moment, my own house needs attention in both the metaphorical and shingle sense. I also have one kid in college and one kid in braces. Still, I checked the price and ran it past my wife. I may have mentioned turning it into a recording studio and robot building center and also keeping the funerals going. Having attended moving events in that very church herself, my wife understands. But she still vetoed the move. Wait, that's neither accurate nor fair. She never said no. In fact, I don't think she has ever said no. You'll notice I've not quoted her invoking the words forbid or forbade or any version of same. My optimistic read here is that she respects my autonomy. My realistic read is she knows very well she doesn't have to say no. She just has to let me stand there and listen to myself. Well, enough of that. Let's listen to something much easier on the ears. Our second act guest this evening is actually a multi-guest endeavor. A group born of loss. The founder was responding to the unexpected death of his son. Cloud Cult has grown to become a self-sustaining multimedia creation known for succeeding outside the mainstream, with an alternative orchestral folk rock sound. But the term multimedia didn't just pop up in that last sentence by coincidence. The group's live shows have also become known for the live painting that takes place on stage as the night unfolds. All the more reason to get up here and see them live, working on a canvas beneath the canvas. Meanwhile, we have them now in all their sound, it sounds. Please welcome to the big top stage, Cloud Cult. Thank you. 
Cult. Come on up and see him live sometime. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. With 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. More info at bayfieldin.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield in the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info and lodging at bayfield.org. And by the Cable Chamber of Commerce, Cable, Wisconsin, the gateway to Bayfield County where world-class trails, forests, lakes, and adventure await. Visit CableForFun.com. That's Cable, the number four, F-U-N, dot com. No, Mr. Burnside, you can't pay for that with Cherry Cobbler. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who shares a promise with his wife. 
We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.